Hi there, Chris of Moto Legends, the chap in the cap. Now we're recording this towards the end of 2019. It's mid-December 2019, and I'm here today to talk to you about the latest iteration, a new colorway of the Bellstaff Trial Master Pro. It's a jacket that came out earlier this year, but we've had a new colorway in very recently, so I'm going to go through the jacket. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the jacket's history, then I'm going to talk through its features and so on. But let's go over there, we'll look at the jacket, and I can tell you all about it. So this is the latest iteration of the Bellstaff Trialmaster. It's the Trialmaster Pro. It's a fully CE approved jacket. It was introduced earlier this year. It is of course a classic, longer, four pocket belted wax cotton jacket. Now this is a style that was not actually invented or created originally by Bellstaff. It was rather a barber creation. The lineage can be traced back to the interwar period it was in 1936 that Barber created a one-piece suit. It was called the A1, and they marketed it in their catalogs because they produced catalogs at that stage. They marketed it as a suit for aviators and men of adventure. It became very popular in the period with motorcyclists. When we went to war in 1939, it became a suit for submariners. In 1943, a Captain Phillips who was a submarine captain, approached Barber and asked to turn that one-piece A1 suit into a two-piece. Now, we're going to look in a second at a picture of Captain Phillips wearing his jacket, but you can see that as a style, that is very reminiscent of what we see here today. So, um, a longer wax cotton, a belt across the middle, trousers worn separately. It was only after the war in 1947 that Barber introduced this jacket into its civilian range. They called it the Barber International. Became hugely popular with motorcyclists of, of all kinds, particularly, of course, with trials riders. By 1957, at the International Six Day Trials, 97% of competitors were wearing a Barber International. Its fate was sealed as a piece of iconic motorcycle wear when Steve McQueen wore one in 1964 when he competed for the American Vars team in East Germany. On his way to East Germany, he stopped in London. He went to the shop of D. Lewis, which was the forerunner of today's Lewis Leathers. He bought a jacket for himself and the rest of the crew. They all wore it. Pictures of the guys wearing the jacket are still everywhere you look on the internet today. Of course, it wasn't just restricted to trials riders, it was a jacket that was worn by all kinds of motorcyclists. Even the rockers would have had a Barber International strapped about their bike somewhere. So if they were racing around on the North Circular at night, running from cafe to cafe, they would have had their leather jacket. But if they were going further out of town, if they were going down to Brighton for the evening, in the winter or when it was raining, they would have had a Barber International um, to, to wear over, over the top of their leather jacket. Now, by this time, another competitor had come onto the market. Barber didn't have it all their own way. Bellstaff had come along and they had created the jacket that was very much the forerunner of this. They called it, even back then, the Bellstaff Trial Master. So for a while, Bellstaff and Barber went head to head in this market. But as we moved into the 80s, it has to be said that Barber had become a little bit complacent. They had become a little bit neglectful of the motorcycle market. They had royal warrants. I think they were more interested in pursuing the holy trinity, of hunting, shooting, and fishing. They weren't quite so interested in motorcycling. So Bellstaff became, by that stage, as we moved into the 80s and 90s, the Bellstaff was the jacket to have. But by then, the super bike had come onto the market. With that bought, um, with that came two-piece leathers, one-piece leathers. The traditional wax cotton jacket very much went into decline. The company struggled on into the 90s, but they were in trouble. In 2004, the entire brand was bought by the Italian distributor of Bellstaff, the Melanotti family. And in truth, if we look back, we often wax lyrical about the heritage of Bellstaff as a motorcycle brand, but in some ways the story began again when the Melanotis acquired the business. They were the first people to put armour into a Bellstaff jacket. So they put armour into it. One of their first promotional devices 
was to supply jackets to Charlie and Ewan on their long way round venture. And again, we know what impact that has had. They also took people like Kate Moss. They paid Kate Moss reputedly a million pounds to wear Bellstaff. Um, since then, the jackets have been worn, Bellstaff jackets have been worn by everyone in Hollywood, Cruz, Pitts, Clooney, and so on. So today, it is a super stylish and fashionable brand that's also a very protective brand. What I'm going to do now, we're going to go and look at this jacket in a little bit more detail to show you how far it's come to talk about this as a modern piece of technical motorcycle wear. So here I am with Billy the Boot and he's wearing the latest Trial Master Pro. This in a brand new colour, mahogany, just come into the building in December 2019. Now I mentioned before that this is a CE approved version of the jacket. There were new CE regulations came into play. Technically everyone thinks they came into play April 2019 but actually it was April 2018 that the legislation first came out. Since then every new style that is produced by a motorcycle clothing manufacturer has to be CE approved. This is that version. I'm going to explain what the differences are. In truth the weight of this jacket, which is a 10 ounce wax cotton. Wax cotton, when it's very light, is not very abrasion resistant, but actually as you get to heavier weights, something like 10 ounce, the jackets are pretty robust. But what this jacket has that the previous version didn't, to get through the test, in all of the key areas, what are known under the test as the zone A areas, the wax cotton, the wax cotton is backed by a Cordura 500 and canvas mix, for a little bit of extra abrasion resistance. The armor, as it's been with Barber, with, not with Barber at all, with Bellstaff, for quite a few years is D3O. You get D3O armor in the shoulders and in the elbows. There's a pocket for a back protector in the back. In terms of the jacket as a piece of waterproof gear, it is extraordinarily good. Now, you'll have heard us talk, I'm sure, about the benefits of laminate over drop liner, the differences between a drop liner jacket or trousers and a laminate jacket or trousers. Very briefly, it's this. Where you have a drop liner garment, you have an outer fabric, a waterproof membrane. In extreme rain, after many hours, water can get in, can soak the fabric, can swill around between the outer fabric and the membrane. Might not reach the body, but it makes the jacket feel very heavy, gets very wet, and you can feel cold. When you get a laminate a technology, you heat seal or bond the waterproof membrane onto the outer, water cannot get in. So that is a superior form of waterproofing. It causes the jacket to stay drier for longer. In rain, it makes you feel warmer. And when you come to end your day's riding, a laminate jacket will dry out much faster. Now, ironically, this is a drop liner jacket, but the fact that the wax cotton is impregnated with wax, obviously, it kind of creates a laminated jacket. Water does not soak into this jacket. So whilst technically it's a drop liner jacket, it performs much better in heavy rain than you would expect a, a classic jacket like this to do. It behaves more like a laminate jacket. So you can wear this jacket for a long day in the rain and it will not get heavy in the way that a traditional drop liner jacket does. What I'm going to do now, we're going to go through this, we're going to open it up, we're going to look at some, some of the details, some of the features that we've come to expect from Bellstaff, but some of the specialities on this particular jacket. So visually, the Bellstaff Trial Master Pro has all of those features uh, and design touches that we've come to expect of this jacket. So you get a buckle adjuster for the collar, you get a belt with a cover here that's meant to protect the petrol tank down here these are brass buttons but the bottom two are rubber covered you've got cuff adjusters on the wrist slightly slanted pocket here now that comes from the heritage of these jackets I've mentioned before how popular they were with trials riders they had an angled pocket so that you could get your map out more easily so that's a leftover from from that you've got extra layers of wax cotton for additional protection on the elbows and shoulders. Um, so very much the classic Bellstaff Trialmaster Barber International profile. Let's look at the inside of the jacket and look at it in a little bit more detail now. Okay, so 
storm flap here. I mentioned about the waterproofing of this jacket before. We would not normally recommend a Bellstaff Trailmaster as a high-tech piece that you could commute in year, uh, day in, day out throughout the year. We have a number of customers who do, and it is surprisingly robust. It does the job amazingly well, but it wouldn't be our first choice. And I suppose one of the things is you've got this old-fashioned brass zip. It's not a waterproof zip. Water is going to be able to pass through, uh, through that. But you've got a storm flap. You've got this this channel running down here, it is more robust in terms of its ability to keep water off the body than you would expect. The zip, always, or historically, this has always been the weak point of any Bellstaff Trailmaster. They had a longer zip, which meant that when you sat on the bike, you had to undo it to splay it. That zip, at times, it wasn't the best quality zip, but even when they moved to a better quality version of that zip, it was so easy to break. And we had dozens and dozens of customers who ended up bringing their jackets back to us because in a hurry, they'd done the jacket up, they'd pulled the zip up, it wasn't properly connected, and the jacket had, and the zip had broken. This new zip, it's a YKK zip, it sits somewhat shorter. That problem has now entirely gone away. In terms of other features on the jacket, we've got the traditional corduroy collar for comfort. Also catches the rain if it comes into the collar, but that's been a feature of Barber's and Bellstaff's for many years. You've got traditional check lining. Here we have a 150 gram thermal gilet to keep, uh, keep you warm. A lot of people in a jacket like this will end up taking that out and wearing something like our War Norm high neck, roll neck jumper. Um, but with its thermal liner and that, this is, this is actually a really warm jacket. Um, other things that are pretty standard, um, extra layers of wax cotton for further abrasion resistance on the shoulders and the elbows. Um, flaps on the pockets, waterproof flaps on the pockets. Um, again, on a drop liner jacket, you would say that the pockets were not particularly waterproof, but with these, with the wax cotton, um, I would still prefer, if I had something that I really wanted to protect, I'd still prefer to put it on the inside pocket where it's gonna be inside the membrane, but the jackets are pretty waterproof. Um, we've got a waterproof storm cuff on the, on the sleeve. Um, again, just a way of meaning that uh, when it's raining, water's not gonna go up into the sleeve. In terms of the detailing, very much a classic a Bell Staff Trailmaster, unchanged for many years. This is just a stronger, more robust iteration than we've had in the past. In terms of sizing, um, now I'm six foot two, I'm 12 and a half stone, I'm a wall of muscle, and I'm wearing a large size. What do you mean I can't say that? Well, they're, they're never gonna know. They're never gonna know. Everyone thinks Tom Cruise is six foot. Really? Okay, all right. I'm five foot eight and three quarters. I'm still 12 and a half stone, and I don't have quite as much muscle as I implied I did. And I'm in a size medium. Billy, you are, what are your? Six foot one right, and 12 stone, and I'm in a large. So we've changed the sizing, or Bellstaff has changed the sizing recently. The company's recently moved into British hands. Um, it went from the Melanotis, it went to an Austrian company. It's now in British hands again. One of the first things they did was change the sizing because the sizing was just very Italian. It's still, I would say, a little bit on the small side. So if you're a normally a large, you might go for an extra large and so on. In the old regime, you'd end up going up by two sizes. Um, so that's really, the jacket comes in black, it comes in the olive green, it comes in the mahogany brown. It's priced at 575 pounds. Um, one thing I would say, these jackets can be found at discounted. Now, if you've found, if you've found a Bellstaff jacket, this jacket or any other, cheaper than we're selling it for, then we, will beat that price by 10%. We have a thing here at Motor Legends that's called our 10% price beat guarantee. So if this jacket is 575 pounds, if you find it for 550, then we will sell it for 495 pounds. If that seller is overseas, we will match their price, including their PMP charge. So on a jacket like this, no one is going to be less expensive than we are. 
If you'd like to know more about the jacket to check the sizing and the colors and stock and so on, then visit the website www.motolegends.com. If you would like to subscribe to our bulletins to receive information about new arrivals like this and anything else that comes in, into the building, then on the front page of our website, you will find at the top a newsletter sign up button. Click that and it's very easy to sign up for our ongoing newsletters. If you prefer to get your information videographically, then we would be delighted if you wanted to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you can do by going onto the subscribe button below. If you are so taken with the Bell Snuff Trialmaster Pro that you simply have to have one, then click on the button top right of the screen and you can go directly to the relevant page and buy a jacket today. If you want to get it right first time, if you want to try on one of these jackets and make sure you get the size right and it fits perfectly, then the best thing really is to, to do is to come and visit us here in Guildford. Now, I know that's a bit of a trek for some people, but we have more stock in our warehouse here than pretty much anybody in the world. So if you come here, there's a greater chance that you're going to find the color you want in the size you want than anywhere else in the country. So that's it. That's the Bellstaff Trial Master Pro. It's as good a jacket. In fact, it's a better jacket than it's ever been. It's a fantastic looking jacket that's going to work so well on a whole variety of classic retro sit-up bikes. It is a masterpiece of design. It is an icon of motorcycling. You know where to find it. Moto Legends. This has been Chris. That has been Billy. Talk to you soon.